everybody. My name is Rebecca Graham. I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Barossa Hills Furio Local Health Network. And on behalf of the Health Advisory Council um, and Darren Keenan, we are very pleased that you've joined us here today um, for a very exciting announcement about the land purchase that we're, we're standing Thank on. Thank you, Minister, for attending Kangaroola today. Um, this is an important um, step, the acquisition of this land. This gives us opportunity moving forward. Um, uh, and we look forward to to seeing a health service which uh, continues to grow uh, with the island. Uh, every journey is a journey of many steps and so it's great to be with you today to share this milestone step uh, in the history of the health work on the island. Thank you. Thank you. Moving forward, um, Hack's been on a journey the last four or five years. You recall I accosted you at a Hack conference with a little postcard many <laughs> moons ago uh, as part of that journey um, of service planning. Um, we knew we had to get our ducks in a row. We needed to give you the evidence um, and, and everybody involved in the process along the way, the evidence of what, we, what was required, what was needed. And we also knew we needed to bring the community along with us. We've continued that process along the way with the master planning and very collaboratively um, since the formation of the new local health network as well. We've worked hand in glove together very closely on that, which has been inspiring as well to see how closely we can work together and to get results. Um, but I do want to just also pay an accolade to my fellow HAC members. Some of them have been here a very long time and I acknowledge Libby's been on the HAC even longer than I have. Um, we must get a retirement plan one day, Libby. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, they, but they've stuck with the journey and as you can see, we're quite a, quite a tight-knit group. We've worked hard. And this, this actually means the world to our community, being an island-based island community. Um, our health and wellbeing needs to be serviced as much as possible on the island. So we thank you for your commitment and thank you for today. Well, Minister, to talk for a few minutes, and then we'll go outside and have a group photograph, if that's okay with everybody. Great. Thanks, Rebecca. And thank, thanks, everyone, for coming. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to come to the island. I'd like to acknowledge Carol Gaston, the chair of the board, Darren Keenan, the chair of the Health Advisory Council, Rebecca Graham, the chief executive, um, Leon Vignall, the local member, Amy Williams, the you know, liberal candidate. I'm sure everyone else is really important, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Health Advisory Council members, Minister. Oh, thank you. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming today. Um, it's, uh, it's really quite um, um, apt that we should be standing in Carnarvon House. It was... Uh, Built by Mr. Priest uh, during uh, during the war years when we weren't when nobody was allowed to leave South Australia, and so apparently it was uh, an exotic place for servicemen and their um, their wives to come and spend uh, spend a break. So in the middle of a pandemic, while everything's shut up, we come back to Carnarvon <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate something else, perhaps not quite so exotic, but um, but actually even more important for the island. Um, it, I think it'd be fair to say that the Health Advisory Council, in particular, and the the hospital more broadly has had their eyes on this property uh, for years. Um, so we thank you for uh, having at the front and centre of your activity the, the, the health needs of the, of the island, um, but not just the current needs, but the future needs. Um, Darren was saying how important it is for um, members of the community to be able to, to have uh, health services that uh, are inside of the sea, the, the health and wellbeing uh, of people, um, and many of us, is, uh, is nurtured by the presence of water uh, and the sea uh, is particularly evocative. So it's very apt that uh, an island um, which uh, lives, um, uh, where people um, are very much part of uh, an ocean environment um, would want their health services to be within sight of the sea. Um, the, the state government is investing um, $1.5 million in this acquisition. It's obviously a strategic ac acquisition right alongside the, beside, alongside the hospital. And I'd particularly like to acknowledge the uh, tireless efforts of the Health Advisory Council, uh, your collaborative work with the um, Barossa Hills and Fluoro Local Health Network and the department um, have been instrumental in the progress that we see today. Um, the State Government is very proud to invest in the future of the service so that we can continue to serve the, the 5,000 population 
on the island uh, from birth to death uh, and every stage in between. Uh, obviously the, um, the, um, the importance of this uh, physical asset was highlighted by the, the master planning work that's been going over the last couple of years. Um, and the, through that process, the network and the, the HAC have um, worked with the community to ensure that the health services in the future are tailored uh, to meet the needs of the community. Uh, I, I hope that you'll, uh, you'll see with this acquisition and with the work that's done uh, in both releasing and implementing the master plan uh, that your voices uh, have been heard uh, and we look forward to, to seeing a health service which uh, continues to grow uh, with the island. Uh, every journey is a journey of many steps and so it's great to be with you today to share this milestone step uh, in the history of the health work on the island. Thank you. Thank you.